Yo folks, I have been publishing a video a couple of days back about how I became a legend and I gave you some tips and this time I want to tackle the same topic but from a different angle. Actually, there are two main messages what I want to deliver. I made you a collection of Rush games and those were the games which actually helped me to reach legend. But it wasn't actually the game mode itself. It was two things. First of all, I had a partner to play with. My son, my kid, Sequel Ninja. He supported me along the way and I was supporting him as well. So that's kind of the number one thing I want to tell you. After playing the game for several months, I think it really makes a difference whether you are playing solo or you have someone to play with. If you have someone to play with, your chances for surviving are going to be much better. You can motivate each other. You can eventually blame each other if somebody is doing a stupid thing and because of that we die. But at the end of the day, it should be all leading to a learning. You learn what you did well and what you did wrong and then you improve. And improving is the only way to get better. I mean, if you don't improve, then you're going to get stuck. And then you're just going to have to live with that, that you got stuck. You, you reached your skill cap. And I thought, I actually thought, I truly thought that I would not hit ace in season two if you watch my videos you can go back and hear me saying that i'm close to my skill cap it's not right i could still improve and i see that there's a lot of space for improvement even going further the second message which i want to deliver is kind of your mindset and that's very generic but let me narrow it down first of all if you feel that you are being scared of your enemies or if you get scared if you see somebody in t5 or t6 then that's an improvement area because you definitely need self-confidence to beat the game and beat the enemies. Another thing is that if you ever told to yourself that this is something I cannot achieve or cannot do, for example, I cannot get used to my new controls and that's gonna hinder you, that's gonna stop you from improving. So go for it, even if you do it in baby steps, start with your controls, start mastering them and then always pick a focus area like peeking or rushing or hiding or escaping from fights or aiming or whatever always have like one area which you want to focus on and depending on your choice you can actually find a suitable map such as close range combats close range fights go for port if you want to do sniping go northridge or valley and anytime you want to validate what you just learned then head into armory or tv station and test your skills if you can extract successfully then you can say to yourself that Good job, good job. I improved, I learned something new. In the past, I was happy if I had one kill or two kills on farm. I was super proud on lockdown that, oh my God, I get two kills, a juicy stuff. I'm gonna pick up everything and then extract. Nowadays, I feel like one kill, okay, two kills, fine. If I have three or four kills, that's that's okay. That's, that's the place where I wanna be. And if I have five or six kills, for me at the moment, that's the outstanding performance. Maybe I'm gonna even go higher, like Sait does and, and all the, the you know professional guys. But for me, it's actually a good validation that I improved in the game. And maybe I'm recording this now because I saw a post from Alex asking about how to improve in the game. Like mindset is kind of almost the number one thing because if you don't believe in yourself or if you're not setting goals for yourself, then there's nothing to reach. You, you will never get there. So you need to set goals. Set yourself that in season three, I want to become ace and I'm going to start with port where I can practice my close range combat skills and I can improve my my you know, rushing abilities or such. That's a goal. And then, then do it. Dress up, start port and start playing it. And you're gonna improve. You're gonna fail once or twice or three times or five times. And then you're gonna get better. The thing is guys that most of the professional players and those who are legend 50 at the moment, all of them or most of them, I think 99% of them already have a history experience with other games. I have a friend who sometimes plays with us. He has five years experience in PUBG Metro and PUBG in general. He is really, really outstanding in arena breakout as well. Same goes to Zach Frax. He has also five years experience in PUBG and same for Deb and Ferg has experience in multiple games like Call of Duty. So most of the professional players already put in that effort. They improved themselves and got better and better and better. And motivation, guys, is key. If the game motivates you, 
then you need to do the homework. You need to sit down, you need to lose everything, stand up, do it all again, get up to 5 million storage inventory and then lose it all again and then figure out what went wrong. This is how professional players do it and you can do it as well. After reaching ace, I felt like nothing is impossible. I can do it. I can do it and I think I could even do the legend 50 stars. It's just a matter of dedication, motivation and setting goals and you can do it as well. So folks, it's time to set some goals. So let me know in the comment section what your goal is for season three, okay? And attach some improvement areas, like things you wanna improve. Switch from two fingers to four fingers or, or drastically improving your aim with snipers or becoming an SMG hero or shotgun queen or whatever. Whatever it is, just let me know in the comment section. At the point where you are publicly sharing your goal with someone, you are instantly becoming more dedicated and you kind of feel that you need to do it to prove it to yourself, to prove it to your audience or to the people who are reading that. So if you have that comment there, then you can anytime circle back and remind yourself that this is my goal for season three. You can do it. Guys, I don't really like asking for subs, but still it would really help me, motivate me if you would do. So please hit the subscribe button and like this video. Leave that comment I've been requesting because it would validate that I'm heading into the right direction with video creation. And it would also motivate me to keep myself on track, to be energized for the next video. So please hit that subscribe. And remember what I said at the beginning, try to find someone to play with. It's gonna really help. But first and foremost, believe in yourself. Thank you guys for your attention. Shady out, see you next time.